Welcome back to We're Having Fun. I'm Mark. Hi. Hi, I'm Krista. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's going on in the world today? What news we got? I, I don't know. I got big news. Okay. As you may have heard, Texas Rangers won the World Series. I have not heard that. Wow. I okay. Don't... <laughs> do I look like I do I look like I care about baseball? It took me a second to even think baseball. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I didn't even know that the Rangers were a team. <laughs> Gotta be honest. <laughs> so the Texas Rangers won the World Series. It's their first ever World Series win. Which is probably why I've never heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so one of the big things, though, the story was to get themselves pumped up. Okay. They would listen to Creed in the locker room. And now Creed has reunited and they're going on tour, baby. So get ready to go to a Creed concert. I've been to a Creed concert. I, mean, I don't want to go to a Creed it concert. It was good. It was good. I mean, they're fine, but I don't. Oh, go. <laughs> downplaying Creed. Wow. <laughs> What was the song that they used to hype themselves up? I don't... T- oh, you don't specify what? a song. It's okay. just Creed in general. They just had hey, Creed on. Hey, sweetie, pick a song. <laughs> <laughs> pick a song and get hyped. You literally <laughs> never called me sweetie before. <laughs> I was like, what? Threw me for a loop. You want to throw in my sacrifice? <laughs> let's go. My own prison? Okay. What if? Yeah, let's go. I don't know. With arms wide open. (laughs) I know that one. (laughs) So, yeah. Anyway, just I saw that. I was like, all right. They're going on a tour with like a bunch of like early 2000s bands. Then I was like, who else? Uh, I don't remember. It might be interesting with the other people. I don't know. The only one I recognized was or remember is Tonic because they were at the. Oh my God. I like Tonic. (laughs) (laughs) They were at the. The concert I saw him originally. Okay, back in, nice. It was like 20, 2007? No, 2002. That's a big difference. Yeah, I forgot how old I was. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. I saw him in high school, so. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but anyway, I just wanted to share the good news. Okay. Not that so, the Rangers went, but that Creed's getting back <laughs> that together. That Creed's back together and then going on tour. I guess, so, you know, whatever with the Rangers. Okay. They're not my team, so, you know, it's not... I like them fine. Do you have a team? Are you... Sweetie. <laughs> oh, wait, baseball. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking football. I was like, what? <laughs> Never mind. I do know you have a team. <laughs> have only Sorry. one team. <laughs> Sorry. In any sport. <sighs> Chicago White Sox. Yes. And they're awful right now. <laughs> I was like, what football team does he go for? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, it's not football. It's not football, sweetie. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway. <laughs> oh, as you can tell, I'm not into sports very much. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We, college we football, I know, but yeah, the rest, I'm just kind of like, mm, yeah, whatever. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, anything else we need to talk about? Oh, the Echo trailer got released. I meant to watch it before we, and um, I've heard it's, it's, looks, it's pretty bloody. I saw it, but I had it muted. Okay. Because I was watching it in public somewhere and... And I couldn't listen to it because I didn't have my headphones with me. (laughs) I didn't want to just listen to a trailer (laughs) on my phone. I'm pretty sure that (laughs) in the trailer you see somebody shot in the head. Probably. Everybody's like, oh, this is what Moon Knight should have been. Super violent stuff. I I was like, yeah, I like Moon Knight too. (laughs) Moon Knight's one of my favorite ones. It was fun. Not everything needs to be super gory. And it was pretty violent. Yeah. And I know Moon Knight's pretty, like, bloody normally, but I thought it was just fine. But also, in Moon Knight, you don't have the main personality that is the, like, really violent one. Violent one. Yeah. You just see, like, the he aftermath of him. Out. Yeah. And then you see him, like, at the very end. Yeah. Which I kind of wanted so. to see what happened during the blackouts occasionally. But, yeah. you know, it, was, it still was fine. Whatever. But anyway, so... Echo might be interesting. Yeah. We'll see. I'll have to watch the trailer. I don't really know. I did see a lot of discourse online where people were like, oh, they said that Secret Wars, w- not Secret Wars, Secret Invasion was going to, I get those two confused. Why do they have two <laughs> secret things coming up? Come on. Secret, secret Invasion stuff. was going to be like the big gritty kind of thing. Yeah. And then everybody hated it. Yeah. 
that sucked. It did suck. Yeah. <laughs> but now they're all like, this is going to be another secret invasion. It's going to be another thing that they're making it look all gritty and then it's going to be crap. Did it look gritty originally in the other thing? I don't remember. What, secret Invasion? I don't remember like seeing trailers for Secret Invasion being like, oh, that looks gritty. I, no. I was all, I remember seeing the trailers and going, I'm not really that interested yeah, in this. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway. Echo. Daredevil's supposed to be in it, I think. I think so. And maybe Kingpin, since he But he's dead, so I don't want to make any claims. He's in we the all know Kingpin's dead. That's the... obviously not him. He's literally in the trailer. That's his twin <laughs> brother. Okay. <laughs> Ring Tim. I thought there was they said someone else was gonna be in it too, but I can't remember. Yeah. Uh who it was. Yeah. Oh, Jessica Jones, maybe? Oh, is there? That'd be cool. I don't know. Maybe. Interesting. I thought that's who I heard, but hmm. I don't know. Well, all right. Well, with all that news out of the way. Yeah. A lot of good news, I'd say. Big week. Sure. Now we can get to the movie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this week we watched Robin Hood Men in Tights. Yes. And I've I've seen this quite a few times, mm-hmm. mainly when I was in like junior high. And I'd, yeah. I'd go over to my friend's house. He had it on video mm-hmm. and we'd watch it. And I loved it. Mm-hmm. Uh, super loved it. I like Robin Hood in yeah. general. Yeah. Uh, I liked the Kevin Costner one too. Mm-hmm. I liked the book. Mm-hmm. It was good. So, and then this I thought was really funny. But I wasn't sure when we were coming into this. I was like, is it going to hold up? Is it going to land? I don't is know it, yeah. if it's still. Yeah. I don't know if it's good or not. Because I haven't seen it. Probably at least like, at least 15 years? Yeah. yeah. At least. Like, maybe even 20. Yeah. So. But I mean, it is a, it is a Mel Brooks film. It so is. So, usually. I do love Mel Brooks Usually films. those hold up pretty well. Yeah. I mean, there's a couple the that aren't the best. And but occasionally you'll, you know. There'll be a few jokes in there that, mm-hmm. like, oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. you know, because times change and everything. And Yeah. You know, there's some that it's like, oh, well, this really dates this movie. Yeah. But. But like Blazing Saddles, still love Blazing Saddles. Mm-hmm. Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein. Frankenstein, excuse yep. me. Very good. Mm-hmm. Um, Space Spaceballs. Balls. <laughs> so good. Yeah. I liked History of the World Part 1, all right. I got about a couple episodes into part two and I was like, mm. eh, <laughs> not, <laughs> this isn't very good, but yeah. So, yeah. So had, you weren't sure if you had seen it or not. I know I've seen. Do you think you've seen it? I know I've seen parts of it. Okay. I don't know if I've seen, I don't know if I've sat down and watched the whole thing okay. in one go, All right. but I know I've seen bits and pieces of it. I think that, I think I may have seen it when I used to hang out with my, one of my cousins, the one that we, we would watch like Brendan Fraser movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We watched Top Secret a lot. Oh, man. That's what we need to do. I I love Top Secret. I love Top Secret. (laughs) I just want to watch it again. I'm sure it's not going to hold up. but No, I think it does. I don't know. I really do. (laughs) Okay. It's got some some ridiculous things in it. I love Top Secret. The only thing I can think of is when, like, immediately when I think of Top Secret, I think of when they're on the motorcycle and they get off the motorcycle and her hair is still like this. It's it's still like wind blown back. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we might have to do that one at some point. We should. But yeah, I've I've I know I've seen I know I've seen most of it probably yeah. because I would be like, oh yeah, I've, I know I've seen this part and I knew about like the chastity belt and all that stuff. Uh-huh. All these different little, just little pieces. And I'm like, that's, it's so familiar. I know I've yeah. seen this, but then there were other parts I was like, don't recall this at all. <laughs> there were a couple things I did not recall either. <laughs> true, so. true. So I, <laughs> I was like, wow. So I think it's one that, you know, maybe my cousin would be watching and I would come in and just see like the end of the movie or something uh-huh. like that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about Robin Hood as a whole? Are you... The- you big, you big hood fan. You from the hood, as we say. <laughs> Stop. Is that you um, anywhere else? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I like Robin Hood, all right. I've, I mean, I like Disney's Robin Hood. Oh, that's that, true. That fox is so hot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no movie is. has done more for foxes than Robin Hood. <laughs> right. Oh, oh excuse me. Ooh, yeah. Hey, Man Marion, let's go. <sighs> and yeah. Lady Cluck. Ooh. <laughs> Every time that I saw the like the whatever her servant Mary yeah. Marion's servant, I would think of the chicken. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. I just always think of the chicken. Kind of similar. <laughs> kind of yeah. So this yeah. one was German. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So I'm I'm I like Robin Hood stuff. Okay. Yeah. This. They didn't really do much of the Robin from the rich and given to the poor in this, though. They really did not. No. <laughs> it's like that whole part of his, like, 
his deal? No, yeah. we're not gonna sh- we're not gonna feature that. Not not as funny. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so we're not gonna have him actually robbing people. It's yeah. just gonna be all the other stuff. Yeah, all the other fun stuff. But I mean, it's basically a parody of Prince of Thieves. Yeah, and I don't much, know how yeah. much robbing from the rich he does in that either. Yeah, and uh, it's a lot of drawn on the Errol Flynn. Yeah, movie Robin Hood. Yeah, which I, was also pretty good. I don't know if uh, I've ever seen the Errol Flynn one. It's not bad. One. It's not bad. Well, before we get into spoilers, mm-hmm. would you recommend this movie? How many? It's what is thirty years old now. How how did it age for you? I I liked it. I I laughed a lot. <laughs> I was surprised at how much I laughed. Yeah, there were a few jokes that I was like wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't catch my breath. I was not expecting that. It, you got to go into it just like this is going to be some dumb yeah, humor. Yeah, it's going to be real dumb. It's going to be ridiculous. Yeah. It's Mel Brooks. You got to be on yeah. the ball for Mel Brooks. Exactly. And so. if, you just, if you go into it thinking that, yeah. I think you're going to have a good time. Yeah. I, I also still enjoy it. <laughs> uh, I would watch it again. It yeah. was fun. <laughs> I was... I'd forgotten how much of it I still like bring up in my everyday life. Like I think of all the time. Yeah. I think of a lot of the songs and a lot of the things they say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. There were a few jokes that you were doing along with it. Yeah. (laughs) I still love it. Yeah. So it apparently had a big impact on me. (laughs) Who knew? But yeah. So I still recommend it. Yeah. Be ready for be ready for some outdated references Mm -hmm. and some outdated jokes. Yeah. <laughs> but other than that, a lot of funny in there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go into what happened in the movie. All right. Let's start it <laughs> off. So we have... It's a very deep movie. <laughs> yes. I have very few notes. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to keep this going. It's just going to be, oh, and then there was this joke, and then there was yeah. that joke. Oh, man. So we start off with this long... I swear this... Credit it was sequence. long it was so credits, long. yeah. Like, Can we just get through this, please? Yeah. And, and it would cut from the credits to, like, archers firing fire, fire arrows. arrows. Yeah. And then at the end of the credits, you see that the fire arrows are actually um, burning down a village yeah. accidentally. And they're like, oh, come on. <laughs> Every time they do the credits. Every time and there's a Robin Hood movie. Yep. Burn down our village. So they have, like, the fire department come and everything. Yeah. A lot of meta jokes in yeah. this yeah. movie. Yelling directly at Mel Brooks. Yes, exactly. <laughs> to leave him alone. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And then we get to our um, our Greek chorus, basically, yes. who are rappers. Yes. Was this my first introduction to rap? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> Probably not. But <laughs> probably not. No. Part of me likes to think it was <laughs> <laughs> really good. laid the ground floor for me. <laughs> so yeah, they're singing. Mm-hmm. About giving the backstory to Robin Hood. Yes. And he's in jail. Yes. He's he currently part of the Crusades mm-hmm. with so King Richard. He's currently in jail in in prison in Jerusalem. Yeah. Somewhere. So. so that's where we pick up with his story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, go ahead. <laughs> he's gotta gotta wear a beard mm-hmm. in there. They have a dress code. It's like the, a French restaurant. Yes, the, the matri- maitre the maitre dun- maitre dungeon, I think so they call it. <laughs> uh his name is Falafel. Yeah. <laughs> Just like <laughs> nailing on. it. Come on, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, they give him a fake beard because, of course, he doesn't fit in, and he's got to fit in with the yep. other prisoners. So he's standing in front of these uh, <laughs> these torture devices. Uh-huh. They're like toe clippers, tongue, um, tongue looseners, looseners, and eye gougers. Eye gougers. Yeah. yeah. So they um, they're asking where the king is. They want yeah. to they want the location of Trying King Richard because, of course, King Richard is doing the whole crusade thing. Yep. And he won't give them any information. So they yeah. use the tongue loosener on him. Yep. And to stretch, stretch his tongue out. out. So far. So, <laughs> so dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's so dumb so many yeah. times. <laughs> By the way, Robin Hood is Carrie Elwes. Mm-hmm. So that's a that's a win right there. Yes, it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean what? <laughs> I, he, apparently, when he got offered the job, mm-hmm. like Mel Brooks called him, but he thought it was a prank, so he just hung up on him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. So, but anyway. yeah, he's got the whole dashing. He does. Uh, leading man looks for. He does. He's, like and that. he's overdoing it a lot. Oh, yeah. It's great. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's ridiculous. Yep. But he ain't talking. He ain't going to no, tell him where King Richard not. is. Yeah. So they put him in a cell, or they not really a cell, because yeah. they're... There aren't really cells. Yeah, just they just put him up. in chains. <laughs> Next to um, a guy. Isaac Hayes. Isaac Hayes, yes. Yep. This is Isaac Hayes. His name is a sneeze, but <laughs> yes. you don't realize that you don't find this out until later. <laughs> yeah. A little bit later. He got arrested for jaywalking, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's... I, th- I think Robin says something about you're, you're going to need a feat of strength mm-hmm. to be able to get out of this. Yeah. And he's like, or strength of feet. <laughs> Uh, they, There's a bar at their feet that's holding yep. the chains. And so they use their feet to push the bar out yeah. to get out. But the guard hears it. And he's mm-hmm. like, what's going on? They're like, he's ready to confess. He te- wants to tell you where King Henry yeah. is. The guard's like, oh, good. I'll go tell everybody. Yeah. They'll be so happy. So he keeps, but he keeps turning around. Yeah. And they're like, just go. <laughs> oh my God, get out of here. So the guy finally leaves and they all start escaping. Like all the yeah, prisoners are they escaping. they release everybody. Yeah. And so they get out of there. And of course the guard comes back and he's like, oh. <laughs> crap yeah uh, i'm in trouble <laughs> and then that's when we find out oh this is this, is, this is another dumb thing yep <laughs> camel jockeys yeah <laughs> camel race Just camels i don't know and like, with jockeys <laughs> literal jockeys on them going there. just a throwaway joke that keeps coming up all through the movie for no reason oh, gosh so dumb so yeah so they <laughs> escape <laughs> <laughs> and this is where he introduces them. They introduce yeah. themselves. And so we find out that he he's a sneeze. Uh-huh. And he has a son named Achu. <laughs> And Achu <laughs> lives in you. England. Yes. He is, um, he's an intern, I think is what they say. No, he's an exchange student. Exchange student, that's it. Exchange student, that's it. In England. Yep. So he's like, go, uh, go back to England, find my son. He'll mm-hmm. help you do whatever. Yeah. So uh, Robin's like, all right, well, I'm, I'll see you. He goes and just jumps in the ocean and <laughs> swims swim all the way back to England. England. From Jerusalem. From Jerusalem, yeah. So... <laughs> Okay. Oh my gosh. So he gets back to England. Yeah. He immediately runs up on Achio, who is yeah. being beaten up by these guards. Uh huh. Played by Dave Chappelle. Yes. His Dave first Chappelle. movie. And he goes up to help him and he's like, Watch my back. Yeah. <laughs> I love this joke, but I was scared too. So watch it literally just, stares at his back yeah. while he gets punched. And he's like, Dude, he got punched like two times. <laughs> it's like, thank you. It's like, yeah, I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it's such dumb jokes. It's so great. Oh, man. I don't know why everything is so funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I choose got to get ready to fight, though. So he's out of air. Mm-hmm. He's, he calls the timeout. Oh, gosh. I'm out of air. <laughs> And he pumps up his, I don't know, what, are, what were they, Reebok pumps? I can't remember. I don't remember. know. I don't know. But, but if you were a 90s kid, man, you knew those shoes. Those yep. were the coolest shoes where you would press a button on the tongue of the shoe. Yep. And it would literally inflate the shoe, get it tighter on your foot so you could... <sighs> Do some sweet dribble moves. I, I don't so. know. Oh, <laughs> but, man. Yeah. One of one of many 90s references. Yeah. That really just, I don't know that Gen Z is going to be like, oh, man, I get that. Oh, no, they're not. They're going to be like, what is, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. So um, they fight off the guards by doing some karate moves. Yep. They do the, the praying mantis. Yep. So the guards run away and they're like, oh, they're witches. They're, yeah. You know, uh, they're <laughs> doing magic and all this stuff and they run off. One guy stays. Yeah. And he's like, I'm going to get you. You haven't seen the last of us. Exactly. And so right. Robin pulls out this, <laughs> these six arrows at once. And they're all like stuck together. It yeah. Like. Some furls them down his bow. And so he shoots all those arrows and uh-huh. they separate in the air at yeah. some point. They pin him to the tree. They pin him to the tree, and he's like, "You've seen the last of us. Yep. <laughs> You'll never see us again." So they 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 leave. They're, yeah, they're good now. They go to um, Robin's castle. Okay, his yeah. home. He has lost his castle due to he owes Henry back. He, yeah. he owes back taxes. Yep. And so they're yeah they're they just pull it away on a horse cart. Yep. <laughs> and I don't know where they're taking it, but <laughs> it's gone. And um, it doesn't take all of the castle, though, because it doesn't take all the inside. It's right. Yeah. It's just weird. Weird physics there, but, you know, we don't need to think too hard. I guess not. It. There's only one person left in the castle. Yes. And this is Blinken. Yes. The servant. <laughs> yes. He's blind. He's blind. Yes. 
and he's been the servant uh, servant in the house for years. Yeah. And so, one, one joke I didn't remember, which I'm surprised I didn't remember because I watched it when I was in yes, junior high. Yes. Blinken is looking, in quotations, mm-hmm. at a playboy on the toilet. Yes, but it's like a playboy. It's a braille, it's a braille playboy, playboy that he's feeling up. And it and I has was like, like a, what? Because it has a centerfold that like yeah. folds out and uh-huh. it is like... <laughs> <laughs> it is just a naked lady in braille. Yeah, and yep. you can feel parts yep. and, you know, <laughs> move on. So um, he's, uh, he, he gets up. He's like, yeah. oh, Robin, you're, you're back. Uh, and he's like, oh, he runs to him. He's so happy to yep. see him, hugs him, but he he's he's he falls down a little, has a little trouble, runs into a statue. Well, he's he thinks that there's there's supposed to be a door there. Yeah, but the door has been moved with the <laughs> rest of the castle. The, yeah, but the statue behind the door has yeah. not moved. So it's like a Venus de Milo kind of deal, yes. where there's no arms. Yes, and he hugs it, and he's like, oh, <laughs> you lost so your Robin, arms in the- you lost your arms in the war yeah. in the Crusades. But then he starts feeling it. <laughs> and he's like, and it's a female statue. Yes. It's like, but you grew some nice boobs. Yep. I tell you, in junior high, this floored me <laughs> as comic genius. Of course. It was a great joke. I still think it's a pretty funny it joke, is funny. honestly. But, and the way he del- uh, it's the way he delivers it. Yes, he does a good job. Mm-hmm. But yeah. <laughs> so, um Blinken might be my favorite character. He's, he's really he's so funny. Stupid. He's so funny. Like anytime he's on screen, <laughs> I, I was laughing Yeah, he was doing some kind of antic. And so I get it. I get it. Yep. It, was fu- it was really funny. Um so he talks about how the uh about how his Robin's dad died while he was away. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, but my mom's still around. And he's like, mm, no, she died of pneumonia before your before your dad died, I think. Uh-huh. And then it's like, well, what about my brothers? And it's like, well, they all died. <laughs> yeah, they got the plague. <laughs> yep, and it's like something about... His the... sisters died, then his dog died. It got run over. Oh, the dog got run over by a carrot. Yeah. He's like, well, what about my goldfish? And he's yeah. like, the goldfish was eaten by the cat. The cat. And the cat, the cat died choking all the goldfish. <laughs> So basically, so everyone his died. whole family's dead. His whole family, all of his pets, everybody's dead except for Blinken. Yep. And uh, he's like, "But your dad, before he before he died, he gave me this, mm-hmm. and it's this um like a it's like a necklace with a pendant on it. Yeah. And inside it, it holds the key to the greatest treasure in the kingdom. Or yeah. Like that. And he's like, and he, he's like, can I keep can it? I keep it? <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, no. <laughs> So he takes it and he puts it on. So now he's got he's got the last thing that his dad left for him. Yeah. So they're like, well, guess we can't really stay here. We don't have a castle anymore. So yeah. We'll just head off. And as they're about to leave, well, I think they had already left and oh, did got, they? got a little. They were just kind away. of road right. This kid runs up. Yeah, this and he's kid screaming. Yeah. Does a Macaulay Culkin at the home camera. alone mm-hmm. at the camera. Yeah. And he's being chased by the sheriff of Rottingham uh-huh. and his posse. Yeah, playing kazoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it. I guess so. <laughs> I don't know. So apparently this kid has, he shot a deer in the king's forest or mm-hmm. whatever. And so that's it's legal. You're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Uh, the sheriff has problems speaking speech sometimes. speech problem, yeah. So he gets he mixes his words. up words a lot. Yeah. This guy, I know I've seen him in something. Yeah. And I can't remember if it was like, I feel like it was either, I feel like it was like Cheers or Frasier or something like that. Oh, yeah, maybe. But I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, He looks yeah. very familiar. Yes, he was in Cheers. Okay. Played Robin Colcord. Dated. Who'd you say? I thought he dated Kirstie Alley's character. Yeah, yeah. I think she was going to like marry him. Yeah, I think so. Stuff. But yeah. So that was him. And he's been in a lot of stuff. Garfield, Tale of Two Kitties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mainly that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you, everybody knows him from. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So he shows up. He's, of course, after the boy. Yep. And he does not like Robin. Does not, yeah. And because, I guess because Robin is... He's is, aligned with Richard. Yeah, here. and uh, the sheriff is Prince John's, like, main guy. Mm-hmm. So he's like, I hear you're pretty good with a sword. Yes. You want to fight? And he tries to draw his sword. And his... It's just the handle yeah. that comes out. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Don't why. know how that happened, but whatever. 
Yeah. So um, Robin hits like pulls his sword and cuts one of the straps yeah. on his saddle. I yeah. guess, and, and he just rotates to the bottom of the horse. Yes. Yeah, so he's under the horse. Yeah. <laughs> and then he kind of chases. I guess Robin just kind of chases him off. Yeah. He smacks the horse on the butt, mm-hmm. and it rides away. Sword. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and it rides away and it's like he's just hitting his head the whole way because yeah. he's still under the horse. <laughs> yeah. And they're still playing the kazoos as he's yep. riding away. <laughs> yep. And then the kid's like, oh, thanks. I'm going to head home. I'll tell about your greatness yeah. through the land. Yeah. Robin gives a speech. He, he goes he on way going. too long. Yeah, yeah. The kid's like, mm-hmm. okay, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Yeah. And so then he screams and runs off again. He does. He does <laughs> the screaming the whole way back. What is like, happening? This kid. <laughs> this kid actually looked kind of familiar too, but. I yeah. He was. I, I looked him up, but he hasn't done a ton of stuff. He did a, did a couple things, but. So then we move over to, to Marion. Yeah. And she's singing in the bath. Mm-hmm. We don't see her at first. We do. just see they're zooming in on the castle. Yeah. On like the, <laughs> Under the, the wall uh, the window. Stained glass window. Yeah. But we can hear her singing. Mm-hmm. She's in the bath. She's brushing her hair also while she's in the bath. Yep. She's still singing. And then we hear a crash. <laughs> <laughs> me and i don't know why I got me so <laughs> every time there was like something with a camera or like a boom mic or anything like that i just couldn't help it, it just, the camera crashed through the stupid window yeah they had to pull it back it's like anytime you break the fourth wall like that <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah it's a running thing with no brooks apparently i think you did it in high anxiety as well <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> it made me giggle a lot. Yeah. Great. Oh, man. There was another one later that got you, and I, I, was, I was very surprised it got you so much. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that. And the thing is, I knew it was. I was like, is it, it going to happen? Is this going to happen? And it did, and it still got me. Yeah. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> But yeah, she's singing for her one true love. Yes. She will she find him? Yes. All that. And her servant comes in and Brunhilda. Brunhilda. Yeah. Yes. I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> yeah, Brunhilda comes in. This is I know. I basically can only think of one other thing that she's in. Yeah. Because she's in a league of their own. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I knew I knew her, <laughs> but I couldn't remember what from. Yeah. So <laughs> she gets out of the bath, and this is where we see the chastity belt. For yeah. the first time. She has this metal <laughs> underwear. Everlast yep. chastity belt. That has a lock on it and everything. Yeah. And um cannot be comfortable. No. And so uh she's locked up. <laughs> <laughs> And then we see Prince John for the first time. I can't remember if there was anything else with me. Not really. Okay. She gets a bird comes to her. Oh, so. yeah. And it just poops yeah. on her fingers. Yeah. It's like, okay, whatever. That's pretty much it. Yeah. But yeah, Prince John is there. This mm-hmm. is Richard Lewis. Yeah. Right? And... I liked Richard Lewis's uh, Prince John. Yeah, I, I did him. too. <laughs> he um, didn't try to do an accent or anything. He was no. Just, he was just Richard Lewis. He was just in Richard this movie. Lewis. <laughs> and I... You know, good for him. Yeah. Uh, it was it was great. I liked him. It was. I know he's supposed to be like the bad guy and everything. Uh-huh. But I didn't really think of him <laughs> yeah, as the bad guy. He, was fun. <laughs> he, was just, he really didn't do anything that no, bad. <laughs> it was like the sheriff is the bad guy, yeah. really. So yeah, he was just fun. <laughs> <laughs> so the sheriff comes in, he's he's got bad news. Yeah. And Prince John's like, I've had a terrible day. I don't want to hear any kind of bad news. Uh-huh. And the sheriff's like, Oh crap. Um Maybe if he, you deliver it in a happy way. Yeah. So it's often the blow. <laughs> so he tries to. He just laughs the whole time. It's like, Robin's back. And it's he's like, gonna kill us. He's like, you're never gonna guess who I ran into. <laughs> you make me look like an idiot. <laughs> yep. And Prince John's like, why are you laughing? This is terrible. <laughs> so he's like, but you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, we've got to figure out a way to get rid of Robin. So he goes to, Prince John goes to see Latrine, the creature mm-hmm. in the tower. Yeah, she's the witch, supposed to be. Well, she says she's not a witch. Yeah, but like, so the, 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 she's the character from like, yes. Minute, not Minutites, uh, Prince of Thieves. <laughs> yes. And this is uh, Tracy Oman. Tracy Oman, yeah. And in heavier prosthetics. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not that heavy. <laughs> Rude. Slam. <laughs> okay. Hey, that Tracy Ullman, you nice person. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. 
So um, she is in love with the sheriff. Yeah. She wants the sheriff mm-hmm. big time. Yeah. And she says that, you know, she'll help the she'll help the prince get rid of Robin if he will put in a good word for, yeah. for her uh, with the sheriff. And she does this. She makes this food. Yeah. She's got like. Because it's like she's doing. A raven's a, egg. Yeah. She's going to be doing like a. It looks like she's going to be. She's supposed to be doing a potion. Right. And so it's like a. Like, like a, a fortune teller. Yeah. Potion. There's some kind of egg. It was a raven's egg. Was it raven? Okay. Yeah. And. Um, Crocodile eyes. Yeah. And. Testicles of. Of a newt. A newt. Makes a very bad joke after that. Yes. And I was like, don't remember that. We were both like. Oh. And I don't oh. know that that's going to be good. Okay. But uh, yeah. And so she mixes all that it's up. It's so weird. It's like so out of nowhere too. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, dumb. So she mixes all that up and everything. And you're, yeah. you're supposed to think that she's making some kind of potion or whatever. Yeah. And she's like, no, I'm the cook. Yeah. It's like, Eat your he, meal. He asks her a question like, "What? what's he going to do? Or what do I, should I do? She's like, I don't know. I'm I, not I don't know. I'm, I'm not a witch. Cook. I'm just the cook. <laughs> and so she gives it to him. She's like, eat your meal. And it's like, it's so gross. <laughs> like, why? The shells in there. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And of course the eyeballs and yeah. everything. And, um, no, the shells are the gross part, not those um, big eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to crunch on shells, guys? Oh, uh, <laughs> I think we all wins, agree. Apparently. So, yeah, her name is Latrine, of mm-hmm. course. Yeah, used um, to be shells. <laughs> yeah, but they changed it because it sounded better. <laughs> oh, man. Because he was like, Latrine, you changed, you changed it, it to Latrine. Latrine. It's like, yeah, it used to be. <laughs> All right. So she's going to help him, but she doesn't really do anything. Yeah, she really doesn't. (laughs) She's just kind of there to be a foil for the sheriff. Yeah. Really? Yeah, pretty much. (laughs) She doesn't actually (laughs) do anything in the story. She does nothing. I mean, she does do something at the very end, but. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe it's all happening behind the scenes. We just don't get to see it. Maybe. So we go back to Robin. He's uh, making his way into Sherwood Forest. Yeah. There's a toll bridge there. Mm-hmm. And uh, Little John is on Little the other John's side. John's on there. Yeah. He's like, you can't go across the bridge until you pay the toll. Yeah. And he's like, mm, this is my land. He's like, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I got my friend, Will Scarlet. He's here. He's over yeah. there. And Achu comes over and he's like, why do you even have a bridge? Yeah. the cre- it's, it's like it's, a creek. Yeah. That's like four inches wide. He's like, all you have to do is step over it. <laughs> I'm on the east bank. I'm on the west bank. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> this is also there Dude, the- a bow staff vibe but first before this at some point achu is there with blinken and yeah. he says hey blinken <laughs> and blinken goes, a blinken did you say a blinken, a blinken? <laughs> why is it so funny because it's out of nowhere it's so Stop dumb because it- why would he be saying it first off because a blinken is not around <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> and then why doesn't he recognize his own name <laughs> yeah i don't know it's it's blinking what do you expect oh, i love him <laughs> so uh yeah they have a a, a fight on yeah. the bridge um and their sticks keep breaking in half yes and so they just keep throwing away half of it and fighting with the other half yep. and it finally just gets down to this really small yep. little sticks and they just sn- he just keeps smacking his it, knuckles. knuckles and everything yeah yeah and then he pushes him off yeah he finally knocks into, him off the bridge yeah off the bridge and he falls into the tiny tiny creek and he's like help i can't swim (laughs) i'm drowning i'm drowning what (laughs) (laughs) it's so little water yeah it's so dumb so he has to help him up and everything saves his life yep he saves his life so he's like all right you're we're friends now yeah and we see we see will scarlet Mm -hmm. he actually introduces him yeah. And he's like, Will Scarlet. Well, actually, his name, his full name is Will Scar- Will Scarlet O'Hara. He's yeah. from Georgia. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so stupid. It's such a dumb joke. It's so unnecessary. It's not. 
Augie. He has a British accent. I don't... <laughs> Nothing about him is Georgian. No. It's just a dumb play on his name. Oh, man. <sighs> um, but he's really good with daggers. He's very good with daggers. Yeah. They tell uh, Robin to shoot him. Shoot me right in the heart with yep. your arrow. And so he's like, mm, <laughs> okay, okay, goodbye. <laughs> yeah. I love his delivery of that. Like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> so he shoots, and when he does, he uses his daggers, and he just, like, grinds Shreds it up. Shreds arrow, basically. yeah. So he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> his daggers are smoking. Yep. <laughs> like, what part of Georgia are you from? South Central? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I wasn't, I, I don't have that many notes, so I'm kind of like, what, what is happening? Well, yeah, I guess um, they all join up at that point. Yeah. So we go back to the king. They're having, like, a big feast or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maid Marian comes in, and everybody is, like, talking about how beautiful she is and everything. Yeah. Somebody was like, look at those bristles. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh, so, uh, the sheriff is all helping her to her seat. Mm-hmm. He's in love with her, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Asks if she wants a date. Oh, because he's, he's, <laughs> he's like, we've got a lot, uh, plenty of uh, exotic fruits. We have coconuts and bananas and dates. And he's like, would you like a date? And she's like, sure. And he's like, how about Thursday? <laughs> oh, my God. I saw that one going a mile away. <laughs> Also, <laughs> at some point, you realize that um, actually it was when he was talking, when Prince John was talking to the to the creature, to Latrine. Mm-hmm. I was like, wait a minute, his mole moved. His mole yep. was in a different place. His mole moves all throughout the movie. <laughs> it's got a huge mole <laughs> that just keeps moving around his face. It starts off like at his on his cheek, I think, on his like on his left cheek and yeah. then it moves down to like his chin uh-huh. at this point i think it's on above his, his above lip, his lip. Yeah. later it moves sides to yeah. the other side and there's one point where the sheriff's like is your mole has your mole moved he's like wasn't your mole on the other side he's like i have a mole, have a mole. <laughs> <laughs> so no i love it because <laughs> i was like wait a minute did his mole move <laughs> So it just makes no sense. No. At all. At one point, it's like right in the middle of the yeah. <laughs> It's like third eye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They were like, we've got to move it somewhere else. We don't. <laughs> we've used every other place. <laughs> just put it right in the middle of his forehead. It's fine. <laughs> oh, man. So uh, Robin comes in. He mm-hmm. has this huge wild pig and mm-hmm. he just throws it down on the table, on the table. in front of John. Yep. And they're like, did you kill that in the forest? Yeah. He's like. Yeah. Yep. And he says something about uh, the sheriff says something about a wild boar, and he's like, "No, this is a wild a pig." pig. <laughs> and he points at John, like, "That's a wild, wild boar." boar. <laughs> I guess that was a slam. I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> oh man! And so he 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 slams John a few times because yeah. he's talking about how you know he's he's not who's he's no Richard. He's yeah. not Richard basically. And then he says something um, at one point. He like introduces himself or whatever, and he's like, "But I'm the." best robin hood or something oh he's like i can get the people to follow me because unlike other robin hoods i I have have an english English accent accent. i was like okay (laughs) shots fired at kevin Kevin costner Costner there yeah (laughs) so uh his merry men come in too Mm -hmm. or a few of them because there aren't that many of them at this point yeah well the guards i think start attacking him i think so right and so the other guys come in and they're helping out they're all fighting and everything and then they bring in all these guards Uh uh-huh in, All these like knights in yeah, armor. In armor. And they're just clinging. They're clinging around. everywhere. And Prince John is just like, oh my god. Why gosh. does there have to be so much noise? <laughs> He's like, this better be worth it. <laughs> Um, I loved him. Uh, it's not worth it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they all just get in a line, pretty yep. much. Uh, Robin grabs a rope uh-huh. and swings down and hits one of them, and they all go down like dominoes. dominoes them, yep, all the way around. That yeah, was great. <laughs> Did not work out. <laughs> Oh, man. And they're able to make their escape. Yes. So they and get he, out of- he hit on Marion before. Oh, yeah. They, of they really had... They were sweet on each other. Mm-hmm. So they get out of there, and this is where they all don their their tights and uh-huh. everything. And they also have extra villagers that have come to join. But yeah, they get, they get their new clothes. They mm-hmm. have training montage and everything. Yeah. With the new clothes. They're... Yeah. The, there is a, the, I, okay, I yeah. like his reaction to when they first fire arrows and just everybody's awful at it. Mm-hmm. And he like looks at the camera and does a big exaggerated look toward the front. <laughs> and it's just like, 
I love it. It's a great like reaction gif to stuff. <laughs> My favorite part though is uh, they all have their little caps and everything. Uh huh. But Achu's cap is yeah, it's a backwards cap. <laughs> it's a backwards baseball cap, but it has it's still the rest of it still looks like the Robin Hood cap. <laughs> It's so funny. It's so funny. Yeah. I love it. And he wears it for the rest of the movie. He does. Too. I yep. love it. <laughs> Except for one during one scene where he's dressed as a woman, but you know, oh, the rest yeah. of the time of he's wearing it. <laughs> and every time I would see it, I'd be like, I love that. It's so funny. <laughs> oh man. So while they're doing all of all of that training and everything, we have Prince John and uh the sheriff are trying to figure out how to capture Robin Hood. Mm-hmm. The sheriff comes in, he's like, Hey, we built a catapult. I want to show it to you. Yeah. He is sitting in the catapult like a dummy. And I'm yeah. like, why is he sitting there? Don't sit there. You're going to get catapulted. Yep. And he gets catapulted, of yep. course. And when he does, he gets catapulted into the tower where the creature lives, where, where Latrine, Latrine is. Lives, yep. And falls directly onto the bed. And yeah. she's just like, oh my. She's gosh. like praying she's been for praying. it. Yeah. And so she's like, oh, prayers answered. She jumps yep. on top of him. Yeah. And he's just freaking out. And he gets this away. This is apparently improvised, by the way. <laughs> by both of them. This is so funny. He's like he, get, he, he gets, gets away. He's like I have a headache. I have a headache. I have a headache. <laughs> and he runs off. And then she, she's like, oh, she I was so at, close. She looks at the camera. She goes, I was that close. And she yeah. goes, I touched it. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. I lost it. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> I don't even remember what the next scene was. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> It was funny. <laughs> oh, man. So then we have, uh, <laughs> at some point, we meet Don Giovanni. Yes. Dom DeLuise. Yes. And uh, the sheriff has gone to see him. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Dom DeLuise. Uh, one of his sons is in the movie also. Yeah. He plays one of the villagers who becomes uh, one of the... Merry men. Merry men. Yeah. I uh, tell you, as a kid, I loved Dom DeLuise. I thought he was one of the funniest people in the world. I don't remember seeing him in a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I don't I know, remember what I saw him in. I but. know he did the voice of Tiger in An American Tale and An American Tale Five Goes West. Oh, yeah. I watched yeah. Five Goes West so many times. Yeah. I loved that movie. <laughs> And I loved Tiger, so yeah. I guess I like, that's what I know him as. I feel like he was either in a in Cannonball Run or Smokey and the Bandit, one of those movies. One of them. And I just, I loved him in that. So every time I saw him, I yeah. loved him. He's fun. He's yeah, very funny. He is. And yeah, so the son that was in it is David, I think. Maybe. Sounds right. But he plays, he played, I recognized him because I was like, <laughs> hey, wait a minute. It's the dad from Wizards of Wa- Waverly Place. Uh-huh. The guy who plays Little John was also the dad in a Disney Channel thing. Right. But then the other, one of his other sons, because he's got like three sons. Yeah. One of his other sons was the bully in Encino Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot fun. about that guy. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. Oh, you know, Will Scarlet. Mm-hmm. The guy who played Will Scarlet in this actually played Robin Hood in the TV version of like the new Adventures of Robin Hood. Oh, or really? Like that. So yeah. See, I didn't recognize. He had him. a good look. Yeah. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah, I didn't. I he didn't look familiar, yeah. but but I liked him. Yeah. Cool. Don anyway, Deloise. so Don Giovanni. He's, yeah. He's like the Godfather. He's very Marlon Brando. Yes, exactly. He has these two guys. Henchmen. Henchmen. Yeah. One of them is Dirty Enzo. Yeah, Dirty Ezio or Ezio. Enzo it's or something Ezio. like that. Yeah, it's Ezio. Suppose it was. It was gonna be Dirty Harry, yeah, but I think they were gonna get sued. But he looked like a lot like he Clint looked Eastwood. a lot like Clint Eastwood, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Dirty Dirty Ezio, I think, was yeah. Was. <clears throat> and then the other guy <laughs> was he like Filthy Luca or something? Something like that. <laughs> I, <don't remember. laughs> I think that was it. Something it was like that. Something dumb like that. But um, Ezio <laughs> can't speak because he had his tongue <laughs> cut out, and, and the Don dog. Giovanni makes fun, makes fun of him, of him so. so much. Much. Just like every opportunity, he's making fun of the fact that he can't talk. He so has no messed tongue. up. He's like, no, listen to this guy. He's like, do this. <laughs> he can't. He can't do it. He's like, no, no, so bad. Stop. It's terrible. Oh, man. But it's funny. <laughs> uh, Filthy Luca, or whatever his name yeah. is. He can talk, though. And yeah. he. Um, he's kind of stupid. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of stupid, but he does do the, he's the one who says the, we'll make him an offer he can't refuse. Yeah. Hey, does it, thank you for bringing us on this, the day of your daughter's wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
So, um, so he gets the actual like Godfather. Yeah. <laughs> quotes, but it turns out that he's has all these rewards for archery. He's yeah. a really good archer. He's got a ton of battles. Yeah, and um, so they're gonna have a like a festival kind of thing. Yeah, an archery contest. And, yeah, it's gonna have an archery contest, and they're like, that's gonna draw him out. He's gonna want to because he he loves archery. Mm-hmm. And he'll lose it, of course, because they've got Luca, who's yeah. uh, who's really good at archery. Mm-hmm. And then they and can arrest they him. They can arrest him, but they've just they've got to get him there. So, and this is gonna be like the thing that brings England and Jersey together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's from Jersey. <laughs> because there's like the Isle of Jersey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to be, but it's like. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that one got me. So Marion, of course, is like on her balcony and she overhears all of this. Mm-hmm. So she's like, oh, I've got to, I've got to let Robin know about this. Yeah. So um, she tells Br- Brunhilde, she's like, I got to go warn him. And she jumps on a horse and she rides yeah. off. And then Brunhilde jumps on, <laughs> tries to jump on her horse and the, the horse, horse backs like, nope. up. It's like, uh-uh. <laughs> and the horse's name is like. Oh yeah. I don't remember uh, the horse's What was name. it? It was, it was like Flugel something or something Flugel. Was it? Yeah. Flugelhorn? It was a flugelhorn. It wasn't, I feel like it was just a made up name. But yeah. Farfignugan? <laughs> maybe it was like Farf, Farf and Flugel. Maybe. I think that was it. Maybe. And so, yeah, it moves out of the way though when yeah. she jumps off the balcony and she, she leaves like this big dent in the pavement. Yeah. She's like, don't you ever do that again. <laughs> So she says it in a German accent. Yeah. And then so she rides off after her. Then we see we see that they have a lookout at the camp. <laughs> yes. It is <laughs> It's blinking. It's blinking. Why do they have the blind guy as the lookout? He's listening. He's listening. He does not hear Robin walk yeah. like walk up or He's ride like, up. Blinking, what are you doing up there? Yeah. It's like I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing you're here. Yeah. So he's like, <laughs> just come down, man. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, there's a ladder there and he tries to get down the ladder. The yep. ladder falls before he can get to it. So he falls off. Yeah. Falls on his face. Yeah. And then he and then he gets up. Yeah. And he's like, I can see. <laughs> and then he immediately runs into a tree and he's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I was like, who put the blind guy on? What's going on? So um, then we have the guys, the merry men. They mm-hmm. decide that they're all going to just sing a random song. Yep. I do love this song. This I've remembered this song. song for a long time, and I will still occasionally sing it to myself. This is a fun song. It is. It's a fun little sequence to watch, too. Yeah. They're men in tights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're men. They're men in tights. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, they're they're singing, they're dancing. Yeah, Blinken is just. There's a line that says, "Don't say it to our face, or else we'll punch out your lights." And yep. they do a punching motion. And they're supposed to and punch away to coordinate. from <laughs> yeah. somebody, but Blinken can't see, he so he doesn't know. know. So and he, just he keep hits. Punching people. Yeah, he punches somebody every time. Punches Will. He punches Will John. <laughs> it's great. Yep. And uh, so yeah, they do their little their little dance and everything. It's mm-hmm. real cute. And then Marion arrives on her horse. Yeah. And she's like, I uh, just want you to know that they're gonna arrest you if you go to this festival. Yeah, they're setting a trap so for you. They set a trap, so don't he's go. He's like, I promise I won't. And, yeah, he's like, Okay. She's like, There's gonna be an archery contest and he's like, <laughs> Archery contest, really? you say. <laughs> okay. And she's like, Promise you won't go and he's like, I promise you won't go. <laughs> she's <laughs> she's like, like, Thank you. Wait. Wait, huh? <laughs> Yep. So um, she takes uh, he takes her over like behind this screen. Yeah. And t- he sings to her. Uh huh. <laughs> Just and obviously not him singing. No, it is so Great. not him singing. <laughs> And so he sings to her and everything, and everybody else is just kind of watching. Yeah, behind some people the screen, are singing along and everything, like a shadow like, mm-hmm. silhouette yep. thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we'll <laughs> That's say all about it. That's all we're gonna say about that one. And <laughs> <laughs> so then we have we have the big contest and everything, mm-hmm. and they're all there. Little John, Achu, Blinken, Will Scarlet. They're all dressed, they're all dressed up as, as ladies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, Blinken's boobs have fallen. <laughs> they're all misaligned. All messed up. They're all like lined on one side. Yeah. And he has to kind of adjust them and everything. <laughs> so punch them back into place. Yeah. <laughs> Can you 
you imagine just walking by and see somebody, <laughs> some woman just punching her boobs back into place? Robin is dressed up as an old man. Yes. And he's in he the He looks like tournament. Mark Twain. Yeah. They, they even say, like, you mean the guy that looks like Mark Twain? <laughs> that can't be Robin. <laughs> is that right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one of the great things. At the beginning, before the archery tournament, mm-hmm. they sound the horns. Oh, my God! <laughs> Players. And the trumpets, like have these long trumpets, and they're both just pointed, pointed. straight at Prince John. And it's just so <laughs> stupid. Like why? And he's just like, I hate my life. <laughs> he's so good. He's so good. He's so funny. <laughs> it's like, why would you do it that way? And then the guy who announces, he's got an annoying voice too, and he's yeah. just like, oh my gosh, now I have to listen to this too. Just had my eardrums burst by this other thing, and now I have to listen to this. <laughs> Oh, man. But uh, the sheriff comes up and sits next to him and everything. He's like, uh, by the way, we've got a sharpshooter in the in the tower over yeah, there. Yeah, dirty Ezio's up there. Dirty Ezio up there. And then it, <laughs> it shows him inside the tower. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the Royal Book Depository. Royal Folio, <laughs> Folio Depository. depository. <laughs> it's like, it t- I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's right. It's it took me a, a second. A JFK assassination <laughs> joke. <laughs> The people demanded it. Obviously. Oh. oh my gosh. I was like, I can't believe you just did this. So, funny. so terrible. Oh man. So um, they have the archery competition. Yeah. Comes down to Luca and Robin. Yes. Yep. Robin shoots first. Mm-hmm. Bullseye. Yep. Luca, Luca goes shoots. next. Shoots through Splits his arrow. Splits his arrow. arrow. Yep. And they're all like, oh, he won. Luca yeah. won. The people have turned on Robin. Yep. They're booing him. They're throwing lettuce at him. Yeah. <laughs> Ever in the Merry Men are there, and like, and Vulcan's like, somebody put out the salad buffet or something. Like that. <laughs> it's so stupid. How does he know it's lost? I don't know. <laughs> Why is it just on him? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Robin's like, what? I like, lost? I, I lost? I'm not like, supposed to lose? Yeah, so he pulls out his script. Yeah. <laughs> he looks at it. He's like, no, I get another shot. I get another shot? Yeah. And then everyone's like, wait, he gets another shot? Yeah. So all these people start pulling out their scripts. <laughs> and like, he John does get another <laughs> shot. Dang it. So they're like, oh, he gets another shot. Yeah. So he gets another shot. And he uses... A Patriot arrow. <laughs> oh, but before, but before he gets, before he does his other shot, uh huh. Ezio, yeah, in the tower, <laughs> shoots him, goes to or kill him, goes yeah. to kill him, and he shoots his arrow or his dart or whatever, uh-huh. and blink and grab it out it of mid-air. midair, just catches it. Like, wow! Oh my gosh! I didn't know you do that and everything. Yeah, and he's like, "Good job, Blinken." He's like, "Who said that?" <laughs> Who's <laughs> there? <laughs> so he can catch an arrow. But he doesn't reckon. Because he's like, I can hear it a mile away. <laughs> I heard it going a mile away. Name. It's like, who's that? <laughs> he's, he's the best character. He really in is. In movies. He's so funny. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Then he's going to shoot his next yes. shot, which is yes. the Patriot arrow. Yes. Play on the Patriot missile. Mm-hmm. Uh, since it's it made 93, very topical at the time. So I he assume. so he goes to shoot it, but I think it's like, I think Luca's behind him or something. And he... Uh, no, I think the sheriff does it. Is the sheriff? Okay, like, I know it's one him, of them. Yeah. But yeah, uh, so he, he shoots he it into the air. straight in the air, yeah. And so it goes... <laughs> It goes up in the air, and then it comes down, and it turns goes, around. Turns yeah. around. It goes under the bleachers, yep. basically. Everybody, so does, everybody the wave. does the wave. It goes under where like Prince John and all of those mm-hmm. people are. They all do the wave too. Yeah. Then it goes to the other side of the bleachers. And they do the wave. <laughs> so it's like all the way across. Yeah. And then finally it goes. It does like this ninety degree <laughs> U turn. <laughs> yeah. And it goes into the bullseye through the back of the target. Yeah. And explodes. Explodes. It. And they're like, "Hey, he won. He did it. It's yeah." Like, Okay, but couldn't Luca have also <laughs> just done another shot too? Uh, That's not in the script. I guess not. Uh, so he won. Yay. Yep. But of course, he's there and he's 
shown himself to everybody. Yeah, they've added him as Robin. Yep. So he's arrested. Yep. They don't arrest the women, though. <laughs> no. It's married men dressed as women. No, of course not. It's just all they want is Robin. Yeah. So they arrest Robin and. They're going to hang him. They're going to hang him. And so Marion steps up and she's like, don't hang him. If you let him live, I'll do the worst thing that I could possibly <laughs> yeah. do. You know, I'll marry the sheriff. And the sheriff's like, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, but just so you know, you will not, you won't have my, you'll uh, only have, you'll my, have my body. body. You won't have my heart or my mind or my soul or yeah. all this stuff. And he's like, I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Fine. Okay. <laughs> it's a deal. Yep. <laughs> so um, they take him away and then it's time for the wedding day. Mm-hmm. They've got uh, Robin up there on the gallows. Yep. He's all new stuff and everything. Yeah. It's just in case she doesn't go through with it. Exactly. And so they show up, they come down the aisle and everything. Yeah. They bring out the abbot who's going to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few things. <laughs> my, one, my favorite thing. I don't remember. Uh, no, I think the, the yours was first. Mine's first. Where Mine's first. They, yeah. they have a big staff. Yeah, he has a big staff that he's walking with, and they just keep walking closer and closer to the camera, and I'm like, that's going to hit the camera. It's going to hit the camera. It's like, but they're going to cut away, but no, no, it hits the camera, camera, and it got me. It got me again. Yeah. You oh, lost what it. is it? It's, it's so stupid, because he's like... Yeah, and then and my favorite is he keeps right walking, and everybody's mm-hmm. like, hi, Abbott, hello, Abbott. <laughs> Blessings, Abbott, and yeah. all that. Yeah. <laughs> One guy's like, hey, Abbott. <laughs> and he's like... I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Abbott and Costello routine. It was so great. Oh, man. Loved it. <laughs> Stick Van Patten, by the way. That's the Abbott. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> So um, they get up there to mm-hmm. do the ceremony. She's like, what are you doing? He's, why is he up there yeah. on the gallows? Yeah. Like, like, just in case. Mm-hmm, just in case. So then they start They start the ceremony. He's yeah. like, do you, Mervyn, Sheriff? Yeah. <laughs> sheriff of Rottingham. They're like, like, Mervyn? Mervyn? <laughs> Your name's Mervyn? And so they just have this long Everybody joke about everybody's laughing, laughing at Mervyn. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, rough go. <laughs> yep. I think they've sent out the fox at this point. 12th yes. century fox. Yes, to get they've... the other villagers. Mm-hmm. They've already sent them out. Because they're yeah. outnumbered. Because I think they sent them out before they... Before the wedding thing happened. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like sometime, maybe sometime during the festival or the during the... Yeah, maybe. ...thing. I don't know. The archery contest. Mm-hmm. Sure. But yeah, they've sent out the fox. Yep. <laughs> and so yeah, they finish the wedding. Well, they don't finish they it don't quietly. Finish it. They, they get to the I do's. Yes. The sheriff says I do. Yes. Mary is almost gonna say she's it. like she's about to say i do and then a chew a chew shoots the rope uh with an arrow yes and she's like i do not because <laughs> he's free now so yeah it's not gonna he doesn't have to she doesn't have to worry about him killing him mm-hmm. and uh everybody starts fighting yep and during all of this uh the chef grabs her and takes her to the tower. Yep. And they're like, oh, gotta, he's taking your woman. You might want to go. Yeah. Also, Achi was like, I actually wasn't uh, aiming for the rope. I was aiming for the, <laughs> the hangman. The hangman. <laughs> but, you know, it works out. <laughs> so yep. he goes after the sheriff and Marion upstairs. This is where he finds, the sheriff finds out that a chastity belt is still <laughs> yep. there. And there he cannot get into it. Yep. He's, he's got a jackhammer. He's yeah, jackhammering jack <laughs> this thing. <laughs> and she's just like, ah. <laughs> You'll never get in there. <laughs> <laughs> and so, of course, Robin comes in yeah. to fight him. And they have a big sword fight and everything. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> during this... I, I, and anytime there's a sword mm-hmm. fight, I always... If, it, if it's like in a video game or something, mm-hmm. I always do the parry, parry, thrust, thrust. Good. <laughs> Every okay. time. I don't know why that stuck with me so much. But there's so many little things in this movie that just stuck with me for a long time. <laughs> so they're uh, they're fighting. They're fighting. Yeah. <laughs> um, at one point, all you can see are their shadows. Uh. So they stop sword fighting for a moment to have a shadow puppet fight. <laughs> yeah. Robin's a duck. The sheriff's a duck. The duck wins duck somehow. Wins. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> Ducks are tough, man. Yeah, they are. And so then they start fighting again and everything. And the sheriff's... Sheriff somehow grabs the locket thing that is around his yeah. around Robin's neck and it 
flies up into the air uh-huh. and it hits like a, a beam, post, a beam, yeah. and it explodes uh-huh. into like glitter. Yeah. For some reason. <laughs> and the, the key, key is falls there. Out. The yep. key falls, it falls, and it falls directly into the lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the chastity belt. And and he's like, like, oh my gosh. It is the key to the greatest treasure in the land. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, he's like, and she's like, it's a perfect fit. It's just the right size. Yeah. She was like, it's not <laughs> about the size. It's how you use it. <laughs> so he still, he comes up. He's going to stab Robin. Yeah, he gets like knocked back into a chair. Yeah. And Robin's like, okay, we're done. Yeah. He's about to sheath his sword or something. Yeah. And when he does, he misses the yeah, sheath somehow. He puts and it behind he, him. He ends up stabbing yeah. the sheriff in <laughs> the stomach. Just runs himself through him. Yeah, so he's been stabbed. He falls over. Latrine shows up. Yep. Just in time. <laughs> she can sense it. Yep. And she's like, oh my gosh, I have, I have, I have got the perfect thing. It will save your life. It is a literal lifesaver. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a like peppermint a wind, lifesaver. Like, yeah, peppermint or winter green or something like that. Yep. Yeah, it's it's a lifesaver. <laughs> and he's, she's like, if you take this, it'll save you. But you'll have to be with me forever. <laughs> and he's, he's like, like oh. ah, fine, okay. okay. So he takes it. She pulls the sword out. And he's magically healed. Yeah. And then he immediately regrets it. And she starts like, dragging him away. And he's like, no, 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 change my mind. <laughs> so, yep. so he He's out of the way now. Yep. And then Robin goes over. They're going to unlock the chastity belt and everything. Mm-hmm. But Brunhilde comes in. She's like, no, yeah. no, no. I can't do it till you're married. Yep. So they're like, all right, well, let's get married first. So they have their, they're getting ready for their wedding. But before they can do it. Well, first of all, the abbot is gone, I guess. He just yeah, booked it out of there. Done. I don't know. <laughs> he had a prior engagement or something. Yeah. But there is a rabbi played by Mel Brooks. Of course, yes. That they had seen earlier in the film. Right. They um, gotten drunk with him, basically. Yeah. <laughs> A sacramental wine, and he does brisses. Yes, we didn't talk about it, but yeah, yeah he does circumcisions. He does. He uses a little guillot- a little guillotine. <laughs> yeah, do. he's like, who wants circumcision? The <laughs> ladies love them. Yeah, they're like, oh, I'll give it a try. And he's like, yeah, we just put it in this, and then we <laughs> just put a little it, carrot like, in there to show. Them. <laughs> they're like, you know, I think, I think I'm good. I, I don't need it. I'm good. <laughs> One of them says, I think little John says, I want two. <laughs> yeah. <that's laughs> <I'm> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, before they realize what it is yeah but anyway he's there he's got a little he's got his little brist tent I yeah guess. he's giving up <laughs> just, circumcisions yep and so they're like hey can you come out here and and perform the wedding so he's like yep sure no problem so he gets out there there he had an appointment so he has to finish that up yeah first. after he finishes <laughs> step, yeah you hear somebody scream in the background yeah. he's like all right i'm done <laughs> put some eyes on it yep so he gets out there they're about to get married they're saying their vows which are just basically do you do you yeah, yeah i do do you i do and before they can finish it though king richard shows up yep patrick stewart it's patrick stewart yeah <laughs> that's king richard mocking sean connery's scottish accent <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, he comes up and he he's like, Prince John, how could you do this? Mm-hmm. No. Now, from now on, all the toilets in the land are going to be called John. So he's yep. like, no. <laughs> it's like the worst punishment he could have. <laughs> yeah. And like, they make him part of the tour of the tour- Tower of London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, before you get married, I have to kiss the bride. Mm-hmm. So he, he like really lays one on oh, Marianne. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's like, <laughs> Am I sure I want to be married? <laughs> um, and he's like, okay, now you can continue on with the wedding. Yeah. And they get married. And then um, before they leave, he declares that Achu is going to be the new sheriff. Yeah. And they're like, a black sheriff? Yeah. And Blink Blink is like, he's black. He's black. <laughs> and she's like, hey, it worked in Blazing, Blazing Saddles. Saddles. And they're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah everybody's okay with it. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you can be the sheriff. That's fine. <laughs> and then um, they ride off together into yeah, the sunset. Yeah, just married horse. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's the end. That's it. Except for after some of the credits, yeah. it shows some of the people. And then it shows them on their wedding night. Mm-hmm. And they're trying to open that chastity yep. belt, but the key's not working. <laughs> it's not <laughs> like, working. Like, we gotta call a locksmith. Yeah. We gotta get this thing open. <laughs> and then it ends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, man. yeah. Yeah. Uh. Just a lot of funny in there. It's, yeah. <laughs> it made me laugh all over again. I laughed so much. <laughs> yeah. I still recommend it. Mm-hmm, definitely. All right. Well, should we do our snack now? Uh, yeah, I think we should. Okay. So in the theme of Robin Hood, we're doing... <laughs> 
Churro Kit Kats. Mm-hmm. Churro flavored Kit Kats, I guess. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. How do you like churros? <laughs> That's the hardest question I've ever asked you. <laughs> no, I just, I just don't know if I've ever act- had an actual churro. Oh, really? Oh, you should have an actual churro. They're good. You know, we had like, we've had churro snacks one at one point. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but they weren't. They but it wasn't a churro. Way. So I don't think I've actually had one. Yeah. But I imagine I would like it because isn't it just like cinnamon? Yeah. Basically. Cinnamon, sugar, <laughs> cinnamon sugar. Crunchy. I like cinnamon yeah. sugar. Fried dough. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like something right up my alley. I've just never had it. Yeah. They're good. But um, I'm, I'm sure I would enjoy it. Maybe that. if we go to Disney, we'll have to get a churro over there. Maybe. It's not bad. Kind of tastes like cinnamon toast crunch milk a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not a bad thing. Pretty nice. Yeah, I'd eat a few of these. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that might be up there as one of my favorite of the like flavored mm-hmm. Kit Kats they've done. I think yeah. it works really well with like with the wafer and everything. Yeah, it gives it that crunch. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So last week we didn't. You pointed this out. We didn't give a score for Mountain Dew Voodoo. No, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and so what? Uh, let's retroactively give okay. that a score. We've done that a few times where we forgot and then we just never go back and yeah. fix it. This time we're fixing it. Okay. It was cherry. Airheads, yes, Mountain Dew, basically. Mm-hmm. I thought it tasted a little like cough, cough syrup. I didn't mind yeah. it. <laughs> I guess I don't mind. You, you syrup. love scissorp though. That is like your <laughs> main drink. You like purple drink. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, <laughs> so I'm probably going to give it like a six. Okay. I mean, it wasn't the best, but I would... Yeah. It's kind of middle of the road. I liked the... When we had the other, the like summery ones, mm-hmm. the passion fruit and yeah. the guava. I like those, those better. Those were way better, yeah. But I mean, it still worked. And yeah, yeah. so I would say six. I'm going full middle of the road at a five. Okay. So yeah, I respect what they did, but just didn't work for me. Yeah, makes sense. All right. What about these churro Kit Kats? I might go like 7.5. I like Okay. This. I think I'm only going to go 7. Okay. Because I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's good, but it's not amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. All right. What's your favorite Kit Kat type? What uh, 90s stupid movie should we do next? <laughs> do you have any suggestions for upcoming movies like Christmas movies? Yeah, Thanksgiving. We'll be, we'll, be doing, we'll be doing Christmas movies in December. So yeah. if you've got any that you want us to cover, mm-hmm. let us know because we don't have anything planned planned yeah. right now. I yeah. mean, we, uh, we always have like a list of ones to choose from. Uh-huh. We don't have any specific ones picked out. So if you right. have something that you really want us to cover, let us know and we'll most likely cover it. Mm-hmm. Unless we just get so many suggestions that we can't do them all. Yeah. But you know, we'll just keep doing them years to come. Yeah, exactly. Because we're doing this, we're, we're locked into this for the next 20 years. We signed a long contract. So I mean, it's going to be tough. There was a lot of fine print. It was, yeah. was kind of scary <laughs> to go through. I don't have a house. <laughs> I never had one, but now I definitely know. And now we will never have one. <laughs> Let us know on Twitter at Having Funcast or on Facebook at Having Fun Pod. Or you can send an email to havingfunpod at gmail.com. Go have fun. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.